Okay, we are now joined by our third place finisher, Denny Hamlin, driver of the number 11 FedEx Freight Toyota for Joe Gibbs Racing. This is Denny's 12th top top, excuse me, 12th top five finish at Martinsville. So Denny, congratulations on a great finish. If you could just talk us through your race this afternoon. Yeah, um, it was a, a good day, a uh, solid day, but obviously not what we were looking for. Um, you know, just lost the handle there with about 100 to go. Uh, I think our car just fired off. It was fired off slower, it ran slower throughout the entire run than what we had all day. Uh, so it just missed it there just a little bit. Um, you know, so, you know, that's what we had, and that's, you know, about all we, we could muster up at the end was a third. Okay, we'll open it up for questions for Denny. If you have a question, raise your hand. We will start up in the front with Nate and then go up to the press box. Uh, Nate Ryan, NBC Sports. Uh, Denny, have you, have you, did you have a chance to talk to Kyle at all after? Okay. Mm -hmm. He seemed a little displeased um, about how the JGR cars worked together in the final, I guess, 100 laps or so. I think he felt like he and, the, and Kenseth were faster than you, and you guys sort of sorted it out better. Do you have any reaction um i don't think so i think the, you know we're, especially when we're racing for you know third or something like that um we got to do everything we can to, to get every position um you know that really for us I, we had a better car in the long run and and really uh those guys pressured me pretty good i thought for the first um 40 to 50 laps of the run and then i thought we separated ourselves fairly well so i don't think you know i may have hold, held those guys up for a little bit for a little bit of that final run, but uh, definitely don't think I was holding up anyone at the end for, for sure. Okay, any additional questions? Okay, we'll come to Jenna and then back to Nate. Denny, you had another speeding penalty today. Um, walk us through that. Like, I know that that was something you were really focused on and had studied for. Yeah, I just, um, you know, it was a one section right outside and, and you know, I, I typically the way I shift from first to second, leaving my pit box, uh, I usually wind out first gear, and uh, with first and second gear being so close together, uh, I was I was over. Uh, I knew when they called it, uh, you know, that I sped. So um, it wasn't like uh, we were just rolling and just rolling too fast. It was just uh, exiting the my pit box. I got jammed up there, if I remember right. I got jammed up uh, by whoever was pitted in front of me. There was cars coming on the outside, so I was trying to gas to get you know, clear of them and then back off and, and just these shorter sections. I just didn't have time to get it back. Uh, with Jimmy winning, it now it's mathematically only possible for three JGR cars to get in there. Um, you guys, with the way that Martin worked and let people lead a lap today, you guys seem to be working well together, but it, at what stage does it become cutthroat now that you know that one of, at minimum one of you can't go on? Yeah, I mean, that's uh, that's the tough part about it for sure is, is that uh, – you know, we're, we're in a team business, but we're also in, in a business to win for our sponsors and ourselves. Um, I, I think at the end, uh, you, you got to just, you got to do what's best for yourself. I mean, we made deals about restarts and things like that. Uh, but uh, obviously, uh, I, I think I got a two taps or something like that from the 20. Um, but uh, I, I definitely didn't feel like, you know, we were holding up anyone at the end by any means. Uh, I, I didn't even see it that the 18 at the end. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's just part of it. I think that we're all frustrated. We had probably first, second, third, you know, fastest cars throughout the day, and then, you know, we end up three, four, five. It's frustrating for all of us. Go ahead, Nate. You and Jimmy uh, got together a couple of times, I think, early in the race, and you seem frustrated with him on the radio. Could you give us your side of that? Yeah, my, my side is that, you know, we, we he really uh, put us in a bad spot at New Hampshire uh, on a restart for – 13th or 15th or something and, and, and about wrecked us pretty much uh, uh, and, and then so I, I voiced my displeasure with him after the race and he understood you know why I was upset uh, but in return you know I raced him hard for the lead the lead which is a big big difference uh, at uh, at Charlotte um, and I think that Chad and, and those guys were frustrated with me and, and how um, I was uh, holding those guys up for the lead um, but it is the lead. Uh, so when we got to here, we were running for seventh uh, middle part of the race. Uh, I'd ran him down from from the back of the pack, basically. And, uh, you know, he just wasn't wanting to give up the spot. And, and it was just costing both of us time. It was frustrating both of us. Uh, and, and I gave those guys, you know, many, many laps to, to give us the position before I had to move them. And one more for you. As Jenna mentioned, his victory today ensures there'll be no – JGR sweep for the championship round. I know that was always a long shot, but is it somewhat deflating that you guys, after the regular season you've had, you're not going to get all four cars in? And on top of that, whoever makes it now has to beat Jimmy at Miami. 
Yeah, I, I think anyone can be beat. I, I wouldn't uh, deem anyone, um, you know, the, better than than the rest. I think that any car that makes it in, whether it be points or wins, is going to be tough to beat. So, um, I, it, it's not deflating from my standpoint because we still had a very good showing today. I thought uh, our cars all ran really, really well throughout the entire day, and uh, you know, at, at one point, one, two, three, uh, and with Truex four there at one point. So. Um, I don't think there's anything to hang our heads about. I think it's a tough day for the 19 uh, who blew a tire, uh, but uh, those guys can win any of the next two races. Okay, we'll go back to Jenna and then up to the press box and then over to Barry. On uh, the caution for when Jimmy got the caution and you and Kyle came, I know you, got, you two were fine, but the running order behind you guys, any idea what happened there? I know what happened. We got passed by four cars. Uh, that's what's frustrating is, you know, there's – I don't know how many cameras are on um, between my car and, and NBC cameras, but somebody's got to see. I mean, even the pace car driver should see that cars are passing that shouldn't be passing. Um, I, I, hey, savvy move by the four and, and those other guys who decided to try to do it. I think they caught two of them, so <laughs> there were more. There were more that, that you have to get right, and I think that the stakes are so high. You know, I really wish that we would have red flagged the race gone, reviewed it, and gotten it right uh, because there's 100% chance that it was not right at the end, and uh, it changed the running order. Um, you know, hopefully that doesn't change uh, what happens uh, going into Homestead, but, uh, you know, I know that NASCAR is doing everything they can with the, the scoring that they have and, and things like that, but uh, you have to get it right, and it definitely was not right. Uh, I don't know that's a different finishing order, to be honest with you. I, I thought that the 48 was better from lap one of the last restart to the very end. Um, I don't think that I could have held them off no matter what. Uh, but, you know, it, it you know it didn't have anything to do with us. I mean, you know, I I never would have thought <laughs> to try to, to pull that move to where you just pass the leader and hopefully they don't see it. Um, but, hey, that, it, kudos to those guys. They, they, they got one for sure. Uh, but you know you have to get it right. I mean we're in we're in a big time sport. There's no way that you, you can't uh, you can't find it on tape or you can't find it. There was a running order. There was a running order posted as soon as the caution came out before everyone pitted. There was a running order, and even after everyone pitted, and I had those cars were all behind me because I stayed out. I just come off pit road, so they have an order, but it, somehow it got all messed up. So um, we just we'll come up with a, a better way to make sure it's right in the future. Okay, we'll go up to the press box for a question. Uh, Reed Spencer with the NASCAR Wire Service. Denny, uh, considering the way the day started for you with the wrecked golf car and the uh, and the car falling off the jack, are you relieved that things came out as good as they did today? Uh, yeah, I thought it was a, a great great start of my day for sure. Getting wiped out on the golf cart and uh, uh, my car falling off uh, that that jack, but. Uh, it's uh you know eventually you know the odds are that uh, you're gonna have something go smooth and, and really uh, I thought uh, as soon as we had that speed and penalty at the beginning uh, you know I knew I put ourselves back in a hole again but um, you know I knew patience is what we needed to exercise there I, we got through the pack clean um, which was good there was a few close calls but uh, you know it's just uh, it, it was it was a tough start to the day uh, great middle and uh, blah ending. Uh, the tractor that pulls the trailer onto the track uh, just wiped us out. I mean, I jumped off the cart because I saw it was coming. The other guys stayed on and was gonna was gonna take a ride, but uh, I mean, it cleaned us out pretty good. Oh no, it just it, it just destroyed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You ever seen like Bigfoot and those cars that they set up for him to <laughs> jump over? We, we we were the car. Oh, I saw it coming. I jumped out of the cart, and the guy was. No, I was. I was at appearance. Clay Campbell's gonna get a bill. <laughs> Go ahead, Barry, with your question. Uh, yeah, Barry Richmond, Piedmont Broadcast and WAKG. Uh, so sort of shifting gears a little bit. Uh, earlier this weekend, we were talking about the weather conditions, how that would impact the number of lines, uh, upper line being developed. A couple of things. Uh, did that come into play? And secondly. Um, conditions heat wise for uh, this time of year um it it played a factor i thought that the line the groove was wider today than than what it had been in the past i thought that you know you could see 
uh, the 48 and those guys, they were running up probably half, uh, half a car length or so off the bottom. And I think that that has to do with rubber being put down on the racetrack. I think that, you know, NASCAR's got a good tire coming back here uh, in the spring. Uh, they tire tested and found a tire that lays rubber. Uh, anytime you have a tire that lays rubber, it always makes for better racing. So, um, you know, I think that uh, regardless of the weather going forward, we're, we're going to have racing like this. Any final <coughs> questions for Denny? Okay, we'll come up to here to Bob. Let's dig into your brain, Bob. What's in there? Well, I was talking to Joe out on the grid, and he said that if driver, if his drivers have problems with one another, then they, he lets them work it out. And so, like that ain't true. <laughs> <laughs> he gets right in the middle. <laughs> so, I mean, is there anything that you have to do with Kyle or anybody, or do you just, or do you just go on? I had no idea why anyone was mad at me. To be honest with you, if someone's mad at me, I. Honestly, uh, I don't know why. I thought that, you know, literally I probably held our line up for 30 to 40 laps, but none of us were going to go get the 48. That, you know, that's, that's, that's real. That's real talk there. So, um, you know, nobody was on my rear bumper at the end of the race. I think I had, you know, six car lengths to the 20 and more back to the 18. So um, someone's upset. I think it's just because, you know, we all had a top three car at, at, during the middle of the race, and we ended up three, four, five. That's never – Never happy. Danny, thank you. We appreciate your time. Good All luck right, at Texas. Thanks.